Hi again, this is Mrs. Diaz. Today's lesson is going to be lesson 4.3, Cool People in Hot Places. Before we begin, I want to congratulate all of you that have been sending me beautiful pictures and graphs, comparing temperature, and showing me what good scientists do, which is record what they have learned. So I want to thank you for that. So today, our title of our lesson is called Cool People in Hot Places. So let's see what new concepts we're going to learn today. So for today's lesson, I'm going to need you to think about the information that is going to be, I'm going to be sharing with you. And I will also, I want you to observe because as scientists, we need to make observations in order to come up with conclusions and answers. So our chapter question says, why is Woodland Elementary School's playground always warmer during recess? And as weather scientists, we have already learned so far why one surface on Earth gets warmer than another. So we're going to continue learning more about that and gaining new information. So our key concept is dark surfaces get warmer than pale surfaces when light shines on them. I remember that in one of our lessons, we also talked about that if it's hot, we try to wear clothing that is lighter. And when it's um, cooler, we wear clothing that is darker, okay? So we're gonna continue talking about dark and we're also gonna talk about the word pale. So you see the word pale? So again, I'm gonna read the key concept one more time before we continue with our lesson. Dark surfaces get warmer than pale surfaces when light shines on them. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna be showing you some pictures. I'm gonna briefly gonna be talking about that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use a sentence frame and we're going to answer some questions of cause and effect. So here we have a beautiful picture of a beach. One beach is lighter and the other beach, you can see the surface of that beach is darker. So one surface is pale, the one on the left side is pale and the surface on the right side is dark, right? But remember that in this picture, the, the sunlight is shining the same amount, the same amount. So remember that we also said that if it's darker and the light is shining the same amount, that surface is going to be warmer, right? So in knowing that information, I want you now to think, I'm not gonna give you the answer, so I want you to think and I want you to point which side is going to be warmer. So here we have another two surfaces. The sunlight is shining the same amount. The only difference is that one, is, one surface is darker or dark and the other surface is pale. So with what you've already learned, which side is warmer? I hear some really good answers. If you said this side, you are correct. Okay, let's, let's do the next one. So here again, we have two different surfaces. One is darker, one is lighter. Which one is warmer? So one is dark, let's use the same words. The other one is pale. Which one is warmer? So in, with the information that we know, I know that the dark surface is warmer. So if the dark surface is warmer, it would tell me that the pale surface is cooler. Even though the sun, the sun 
has been shining for the same amount of time on both surfaces. Okay, you're doing great. Once again, we have the pale side and we have the dark side. Which side is warmer? Which side is cooler? Let me see what you're saying. You are such good learners, such good scientists. Ready to see two more? Okay. Here we have, looks like, like, uh, like mountains, right? Big rocks, high rocks. So one is pale, one side is pale, the other side is dark. Which one's warmer, which one's cooler? I have one more to show you. Here we hope we see rocks again. The sunlight is shining the same amount of time. Which of the rocks are going to be warmer and which are going to be cooler? If you said that the dark rocks are going to be warmer, you are correct. And if you're thinking and if you're saying that the white rocks, which are pale, are cooler, you are correct. That's great. All right. So we have to always remember that as scientists, we need to record or explain different ways in which we learn information. So here we have our sentence frames and we've used this in many, many lessons before. So we're going to explain the temperature of different surfaces like scientists. We will use the word because to help us explain why. So here is the word because. We always explain with because because it helps us explain the reason why things are a certain way, right? So let's look at a picture and let's explain why the dark surface was warmer using the word because. So I'm going to put myself over here so you can see me and I can see you. So we can explain by saying, I'm going to go back, we're going to look at the picture. So here we see the pale side and here we see the dark side, right? So let's explain why the dark surface is warmer. Let's go back to our sentence frame. So the surface is warmer, it will be the word warm, warmer, when light shines on it because it is dark. And if you see it here, I have it right here, and it says it, let me move myself a minute so you can see better. I want to make sure that you see everything that I'm showing you. So up here it says, the surface is warmer when the light shines on it because it is dark. Right? So that would complete our sentence frame. You guys did such an amazing job. I could just hear you give all those right answers. I'm really excited to hear all this learning going on. So we're going to continue with activity two, explaining warming of different surfaces. All right? So I'm going to show you the next two slides and it's gonna to explain to us and give us more information. So in this slide it says, what have we observed about the temperature at Carver's playground when the sunlight is shining? So the temperature, if we look at it, is cold and cool during morning recess and warm and hot at afternoon recess. So that is the information that we can see here, all right? And we learned all about the colors and that's how we're able to determine cold and cool. And we have here warm and hot, all right? 
In our next slide, compare the woodland data to the carver data. What do you observe? So let's take a really good look at it. So in looking at it, we can see the woodland's playground right here is warmer than Carver's playground at the morning. See here? Then Carver's playground at the morning and afternoon recess. So here you see. All right? Okay. So, each time we learn something new, we can write to communicate our ideas. Right now, I'm just going to read you the questions and we're going to go back and we're going to actually answer these questions in a later slide. So the questions are, why is Woodland's playground surface warmer than Carver's playground surface when the sunlight is shining on both of them? So we're going to think about that. We're not going to answer it yet. Just think. The next question is, why is Carver's playground surface cooler than Woodland's playground surface when the sunlight is shining on both of them? Hmm. So we have very good, interesting questions. Just stay thinking about it for now. As weather scientists, we have been thinking about cause and effect. Why is the cause that makes Woodland's playground always warmer during recess, right? So that is what we're thinking about, okay? So, earlier in our lesson, we used the words to explain what happens to the temperature of different surfaces when light shines on them. So now we're going to do the second part of the question, all right? So now we have two separate things to answer. The first one talks about light shining. The second one talks about sunlight shining. So I have it here and it says, now we can use similar words to help explain the principles why Woodland's playground is always warmer even when sunlight has been shining on them for the same amount of time. Now, since I'm not in school and I don't have my sentence frame, I went ahead and made my own, and you can do the same thing when you're home. We can create the same stuff that we see on the presentations. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and help you uh, fill in those questions. So the first one is, we already talked about it, the surface is warmer when light shines on it because it is dark. You see that? That's the first one we did. Now the one at the bottom, the second one, would be the surface is warmer when sunlight shines on it because it is dark. So we use the same answers, but we phrased it differently. See that? All right. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to those questions that I told you we were going to answer. So, the first question is, why is Woodland's playground surface warmer than Carver's playground surface when the sunlight is shining on both of them? Before I read the answer, I want to see what you, what your answers are. I'm going to listen in. Go ahead and tell me. I'm listening. Very good. Hmm. It sounds like what I have. So my answer is, Woodland surface is warmer when sunlight shines on it because it is dark. Wonderful. All right, ready for the second question? Why is Carver's playground surface cooler hmm, than Woodland's playground surface when the sunlight is shining on both of them? I'll give you a minute. What do you think? I'm listening. You can tell me. I hear you. Oh, wow. I hear some really good answers. Okay. Ready for my answer? So my answer is, Carter's playground is cooler when sunlight shines on it because it is pale. So there we use both words. We use the word dark 
and we use the word pale. All right, so let's move on. So here, I am going to be reading you information. So we're going to read about cool people in hot places. Cool people in hot places. So once again, this is called another book that we can say is a reference book. It has information about cool people in hot places. Right? So what let's look at the cover. Looking at the cover, I see a girl getting wet with water. That looks like so much fun. And I can think by my observation that it's hot outside. She's wearing a bathing suit and she's trying to stay cool because it is hot outside. Did you think the same thing? I'm sure you did. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the story and see what the book is going to teach us. So we know some surfaces get warmer than other surfaces in the sunlight. What do you predict that people in the book will do to keep surfaces cooler so that they can stay cool? So I want you to think about that as I read. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin reading the information. Does the weather ever feel too hot to you? In hot weather, the temperature is high. What do you do when the temperature is high? How do you stay cool in hot weather? So if we see here, we see uh, children uh, wetting their hands and trying to cool their bodies by touching the water. What do you do to stay cool? Hmm? What do you do? Some places have hot weather often. People in these places have ways to stay cool. So here we see, di we see different pictures of ways in which people stay cool. This is a place where the weather gets hot. What do these people do to stay cool? So in the next picture we're gonna, it's gonna give you more information. It's just showing you different places that are hot. And here it says Australia. Australia is very, very hot. So, it tells me here, people build underground homes here. Sunlight can't, can't is cannot, reach underground. The houses are cooler underground with no sunlight. So because it's underground, the sun cannot come in and make them feel hot. Over here on this side, it says Cappadocia, Turkey. It's a place where the weather gets hot. So what do people do to stay cool? So I'm guessing by looking that they build houses underground to stay cool. That's one of the things they do. I'm sure they do other things. Let's see the next page. The people who live here build into the sides of cliffs. The cliffs make shade. So here we go. These are cliffs. And the cliffs make shade. Sunlight does not shine on the buildings very much. The buildings are cooler in the shade. This is Greece, Santorini, Greece. This is a place where the weather gets hot. What do you think that people do to stay cool? So let's think about, let's make predictions based on what you've already learned. What do you think that people in Greece do to stay cool? Let's find out. People paint their houses white and other pale colors. There's the word pale again, all right? So in order to stay cool, instead of painting their houses dark, they paint their houses white. They use 
pale colors or other pale colors. They paint all the surfaces, the walls and the roofs too. In the sunlight, pale surfaces don't get as warm as, yes, you guessed it, dark surfaces do. Pale surfaces make houses cooler. All right. So now let's see in Thailand. This is Bangkok, Thailand. This is a place where the weather gets hot. So let's think what they do there. Hmm. What do the people do to stay cool? So I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. What do you think they do in Thailand to stay cool? Ready to see it? I'm excited. I can't wait. All right, let's see it. People build houses with big roofs to make shade. The houses also have open spaces to let fresh air come in. Air can even come under the houses. The houses are cooler with shade and lots of fresh air. Hmm. So that's the way they stay cooler. So different places use different methods and different ways to stay cooler. On this side, we're looking at Gadaim. Goddams, Libya. Sorry if I didn't say it correctly. I did my best. This is a place where the weather gets hot. So let's see and try to figure out what do people there do to stay cool. Again, I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. All these people have so many amazing ideas. So people build roofs over the sidewalks oh wow i didn't know that between the buildings so between each building when they walk in the sidewalks they have roofs the roofs make shade the sidewalks are cooler in the shade that's very interesting did you know that i did not know that all right now we have another place it's called nizwa Oh man, this is a place where the weather gets hot. So, once again, what do these people do to stay cool? People wear clothing in pale colors. There we go again. When sunlight shines on them, pale colors don't get as warm as dark colors do. Pale colors help keep people cool in the sunlight. Now we have another place. This place is actually in the United States. All the other places that I show you are all over the world. Now this is in Asheville, North Carolina. This is a place where the weather gets hot. What do people do to stay cool? I wonder what people do in North Carolina to stay cool. When it gets hot, too hot, people set up cooling centers with sprayers. The sprayers send out tiny drops of cool water. The water helps cool people off. Have you ever been to a, a big park in the summer? They'll do that to keep people nice and cool. So we've learned that all around the world, people have different ways to stay cool in hot weather. Some wear pale clothing, some find shade, some even live on the ground. My question to you is then, what do you do to stay cool? What do you do to stay cool? I hear amazing answers. Interesting how so many people have different ways to stay cool. I love to find a pool and get in the pool and get wet or take the water hose and wet myself. There's many ways to stay cool. So let's think about the new ideas we have learned. We have figured out new ideas about why one surface can get warmer than another. We also have learned about what scientists do. 
So we have come to the end of our lesson, but let's talk about what we have learned. We have learned that surfaces can be dark, closer to black, or surfaces can be pale, closer to white. Dark surfaces get warmer than pale surfaces when light shines on them, and scientists study the world and make models to test just one thing at a time, like the color of a surface. We also seen that people from different backgrounds are scientists and engineers. We have learned so much. We have one more lesson to go on chapter four, which I'll be teaching you in a few minutes. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I always enjoy the time I spend with you. Have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.